How is you going to be sitting on a queen's windowsill? May I beg? The BFG said. You are going to put me there, Sophie said. And that's the lovely part about it. If someone dreams that there is a little girl sitting on her window st windowsill and then she wakes up and sees that the little girl girl really, really is sitting there, that is a dream come true, is it not? I was beginning to see where you is driving to, the BFG said. If the queen is knowing that part, of her dream is true, then perhaps she is believing the rest of it is true as well. That's about it, Sophie said. But I shall have to convince her of that myself. You said you was wanting the dream to say there is a big friendly giant who is also going to talk to the queen? Absolutely. Sophie said, you must, you are the, you are the only one who can tell her where to find the, uh, the other giant. <clears throat> how, how is I meeting the queen? Asked the BFG. I is not wanting to be shooted at by her soldiers. The soldiers are only in front of the palace. Sophie said. At the back, there is a huge garden, and there are no soldiers in there at all. There is a very high wall with spikes on it around the garden to stop people climbing it, climbing in, but you could simply walk over that. How is he knowing all this about the Queen's Palace? The BFG asked. Last year, I was in a different orphanage, Sophie said. It was in London, and we, we used to go for walks all around there. Is you helping me to find this palace? The BFG said, asked. I has never dared to go hide and sneaking around London in my life. I'll show you. The way Sophie said confidently. I is frightened of London, the BFG said. Don't be, Sophie said. It's full of tiny dark, dark streets, streets, and there are very few about in a witching hour. The BFG packed Sophie up between one, one finger and a thumb and placed her gently is a palm of other of the other hand. Is the Queen's palace very big? He asked. Huge, Sophie said. Then how is how is we finding the right bedroom? That's up to you, Sophie said. You're supposed to be an expert at that sort of thing. And you is absolutely sure the queen will not put me in the zoo with all the caterpillars. Of course she not. Of course you won't, Sophie said. You'll be a hero, and you'll never have to eat snuscumbers again. Such, Sophie saw the BFG's eyes widen. He licked his lips. You mean it, he said. You really mean it? No more disgusting snoscumbers. You couldn't get one of one if you want to want to, Sophie said. Humans don't grow them. They didn't. The BFG got to his feet. When is you wanting me to mix the this special dream? he asked. Now, Sophie Sophie said, at once. When is we going to see the queen? He said, tonight, Sophie said. As soon as you've mixed the dream, tonight, the BFG cried. Why such a flush, 
flash banking fear theory. If we can't save tonight's children, we can any we can anyway save tomorrow's. Sophie said. What is more, it's getting I'm getting famished. I haven't had a thing to eat for twenty four hours. Then we had better get crackling, the BFG said, moving back towards the cave. Sophie kissed him on the tip of his thumb. I knew you'd you didn't you'd do it, she said. Come on, let's hurry.